specific engine has been converted to CDI. Did away with the points just for simplicity and reliability. But this procedure will be the same no matter what ignition you're running. Make sure that your coil is sitting nicely in its recess. Um, I recommend when disassembling the engine to take a picture of this um, so that you can note um, how it's clocked um, so you don't have to readjust your ignition timing. Um, mine is having a little bit hard time seating, so I'm just going to give it a few wide taps to get it to seat. We will clock the coil to ensure that our ignition timing is correct. So mine previously had about that much. Um, it's all right if you don't get it exact, but um, you want to get it as close as possible so you don't have to adjust ignition timing too much. Um, this is a 530 seconds Allen socket. You can just use a T-handle, but I prefer to use this just because it gives me a better idea of how tight I'm getting it. Now we can put the flywheel on. You can see there is a key in the um, flywheel, and that will line up with this um, keyway on the crankshaft. So find where the keyway is, and then it'll just drop right down on there. Um, now we can put our crankshaft hardware on there and get it tightened down to spec. Okay, so you'll have a lock washer and your nut. Just put the lock washer down on there and I'm gonna get this finger tight and then I will go grab a socket and get this torque down spec. Now to get it tight, obviously this can spin. Um, so I'm gonna use one of the old pistons and put the wrist pin in it. wrist pin through the connecting rod. Now, you don't want to use steel, but I'm going to use brass just to keep from marring the case. Now you can turn it um, until the piston butts up against those and it won't turn anymore. Now we can, if you lower the angle of the torque wrench um, and try to get it as close to parallel with the workbench so that you're pushing down into the workbench more than forward across it. That will try and help keep the case from sliding. There it is. Okay. Now that that's tight, we can just push our wrist pin back out. Um, and pull that piston. Now that that's cranked down, we can put our ignition case back on. Um, 